Is this happening to you? Then you're in the right place for video game training. In this video, we'll take a look at how to defeat UG and the embodiment of demonic chi on Wolong Fallen Dynasty. There are two parts to this fight. We have the UG section, and then we also have the embodiment of demonic chi. And we'll take a look at both parts in this video. Okay, so one of the main things to mention with UG is that any time that you deal damage to him, it will kind of like knock him back a little bit, and it will also interrupt his spell casting if he's casting a spell. So if you want to interrupt his spell casting, you can pop in a melee attack. You could fire an arrow with your bow, or you could even cast your own spell at him. It is worth mentioning that his spells can also be deflected. He's got a tendency to teleport here, there, and everywhere. So if he does teleport quite far away then feel free to shoot an arrow at him or cast a spell at him. The only attacks that you can't interrupt by dealing damage are his red critical attacks and the main thing that we want to listen out for with his critical attacks is a very specific sound. When he casts one of his critical attacks the game will play you a sound which sounds like this. Essentially, when you hear that sound, that's the time to deflect. It can vary slightly depending on your distance between you and him at the time, but as a general rule of thumb, when you hear that sound, that's your time to press deflect. He's got access to a massive amount of spells, but the best thing to do is just to keep the pressure on him. If you just keep interrupting his attacks, then you won't really need to worry about most of these spells because he won't even get a chance to cast them. On top of that, he's quite squishy because he's literally just wearing a robe, so you'll find that most of your attacks are absolutely obliterating his health bar. And massively recommend bringing in the life with a spell and trying to have life with it on him as much as possible. Basically, if he's got life with it on, then he just takes way more damage. You especially want to pop life with it on just before a fatal strike. For the most part, that is the UG section of the fight. Just try to stay aggressive and interrupt his spell casting and then listen out for that key sound on the critical attacks. Next, we've got phase two, which is the embodiment of demonic chi. The main thing that we're looking to do in this phase of the fight is just to fill up his spirit bar as fast as possible. So try to use as many special attacks, forward slash martial arts attacks as you can do. We use a special attack where we jab four times with our sword. So if you do have any special attacks where you jab multiple times, then definitely use those. You'll find that those type of attacks smash his spirit bar really fast. If you can do, try and have life with it on him all the way through the fight as well. You especially want to cast life with it just before delivering a fatal strike because you'll do a lot more damage by doing that. A really good time to put in your attacks is after he finishes doing the horizontal sword slash combo. He usually does six attacks in this sword slash combo and the last attack in this combo has a slightly longer delay than the rest so just watch out for that last one. If you can get a deflect on all six of these sword slashes and then run towards his head and put in loads of special attacks you should find that his spirit bar is looking very full and you will likely break his stance. So look out for this sword combo and try to deflect it and punish it as much as possible. Obviously he does cast quite a lot of magic all over the arena so just try to dodge and deflect that the best that you can do. For the most part I'd recommend being locked onto his head and putting in your attacks towards his head but if you want to you can change target and lock onto different parts of his body. There are some times where you might find it easier to lock off completely. Sometimes when he lifts his head up a little bit you might want to go and focus on the hands instead or if you have a ranged spell you could cast your ranged spell at his head. When you do fill his spirit bar up and break his stance, it does actually give you a massive amount of time before you have to deliver the fatal strike. So if you need to heal yourself or buff yourself or debuff him, then make sure to do those before delivering the fatal strike. Because your fatal strikes do so much damage in this fight, you'll likely finish the fight in about two fatal strikes. He's got access to quite a lot of critical attacks and the timings can vary depending on the distance between you and the boss at the time of the critical attack. For example, he does have a critical attack where he kind of shoots a red ball towards you and obviously if you're further away you'll want to delay your deflect quite a lot and if you're really close you'll want to deflect a lot sooner. The main thing with the critical attacks is just to listen out for that audio cue although the audio cue does seem to be a little bit quieter in this dragon phase of the fight. Another example of the audio cue here. There is one critical where he kind of flies around in a circle and then kind of circles down towards you. And the timing on that one is a little bit tricky because he kind of wiggles his head a little bit first. So I tend to find delaying the deflect slightly here does help. And sometimes what happens for me is that I deflect and the first one is too early and then just press deflect again and the second one usually gets it. He also does a critical where he drags a spike across the floor and another one where he kind of does a weird loop in the air. So just watch out for those and try to dodge and deflect those the best that you can do. But essentially the key 
key things with this fight is just to try and build up that spirit bar as fast as possible. If you can do, deflect those six strikes in that multi-sword slash combo and then run up to the head and punish the head. Listen out for those audio cues in the critical attacks and before you know it, you'll have this fight in the bag. This is the equipment that we used for the fight. These are the two accessories that we used. These are the spells that we used and these are my character's stats. If you want to continue your video game training, then check out one of these videos right here. I've covered loads of games such as Elden Ring, Sekiro, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, Neo 2, Ninja Gaiden, and loads more. Some videos have just popped up right now. Feel free to check them out and give them a click. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.